Okay, so this is a brief introduction to my prototype exoskeleton. It's um, controlled by an NI Serio module, which is an FPGA module, it uses 24 volts. It has no operating system, so it makes it very reliable. What it does is it uses muscle sensors and pressure sensors to sense my motion. It's uh, currently powered by pneumatics, which uh, are a little weaker than the intended hydraulics, but for proving the concept, that's what we use. And just for a note for the uh, videos that are going to follow this, we're just running at half pressure and half strength at the moment, which is why it's only lifting 50 kilograms. If we were to run at 10 bar, then we would be uh, capable of lifting probably 100 to 150 kilograms. Okay, enjoy. This is the final prototype of the exoskeleton as far as I'm going to, going to do, which shows um, like the degrees of freedom, you can walk around in it quite comfortably. The entire upper body weight is transferred straight through to the floor through these legs. Um, and I've only actuated the arms so far. Um, so what we have is muscle sensors, which are between 0 and 10 volts, and give me a pressure between 0 and 10 bar, depending on how much I strain. And to control the direction, we just use pressure sensors. And these pressure sensors are set to go off at about five kilograms of pressure. So anything under that, we can consider involuntary movements and noise. So what we're going to do at the moment, we just have uh, 50 kilograms here. We're just going to take it and see if we can't just uh, bite it a couple of times. So, back on, take it. Now, when I straighten out this entire weight, just go straight through to the ground, and we should be able to just go up nicely and push it a bit more and then we can hold it, it's fine, um, until much such time we can go back down. You see my arms aren't touching this at all really, so we can go back up again quite comfortably and uh, hold it. It will hold the, the valves basically, they're not switching direction at the moment, so you can just stay, move around, walk with the lows, do what you like really. And then, whatever you want, you can just push it back down and push it back on. And just to demonstrate the degrees of freedom of the arms when actuated, so you can move up, move in, out, back down, and just you know, run around, come to the wind reasonably nice. And yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so we're now just going to uh, show independent control when I'm not in the suit, just to see if it'll lift happily by itself as well. So, off we go. Oh. Come on, you lazy git. Off we go. This is a bit shaky because it's off my muscles and I've got nothing to strain against. But as we can see, it'll quite happily hold it until I dump it down now, where I can imagine it's going to go down quite fast. Um, and now we will also just demonstrate that we can stop and start the lift and independently control each arm. So if I just go with the right arm up first, and we'll uh, just lift that that way a bit, and then left arm a bit more, come on, move a bit on the right. Quite, quite happy goes back down as well, independently of each other. So back down, Whoop, a bit heavy, and then as usual, and take them both up together. This is still running off my muscle sensors. So, however, obviously I'm not strong enough to give it a good signal. I need to go to the gym more, but perfect. And then we can just drop down. And there we go. Awesome.